Hello and welcome to another brand new video right here on the channel. Another brand new Mets recap. I've decided to change how I'm going to do the Mets recap. I'm going to be doing it during the games Monday through Friday when I have a little bit less on my plate. Saturday and Sunday if I'm able to I will. Especially for a Sunday series recap. But overall I'm going to focus on the Monday through Friday. Which I think is going to be work out pretty well. I'm excited to be able to talk about tonight's game because the Mets were able to beat the Boston Red Sox in the fourth game of the season by a score of 7-4. Seven and seven to four. Mets advanced to 2-2 two and two after a horrid second half of that series against the Atlanta Braves and the Boston Red Sox dropped to a, a, a record of 1-3. and three. I mean, the Mets pitching tonight overall looked really great. Michael Waka got the ball to start off and went five really great innings. His one lone problem was the home run that he gave up in the fourth inning to Mitch Moreland, the solo home run. That was his only run he gave up. He struck out four, gave up five hits, and walked one person. And then Jason Shreve came in for two amazing innings outside of one home run. He gave up one home run to Xander Bogart, his first of the year, and that was in the sixth inning. Outside of that, that was the only hit that Jason Shreve gave up in those two innings. So it was great to kind of see, for the first seven innings, really great pitching for the New York Mets. That was very reminiscent of the first two games of the Braves series before Edwin Diaz blew it in the ninth in game two, and then the Mets just... That new rule for extra innings kind of hurt, bit them in the butt on Saturday. And then yesterday, we our pitching just sucked. So it was really great to see the first seven innings be amazing. Jerry Familia came in for the eighth and just sucked. He was horrible. Two-thirds of an inning, gave up two runs, and just, he couldn't even get out of the inning. Jerry Familia... We've gone through this enough times with him to know what he is. And I don't know why the Mets are surprised at this point that this is the pitcher that he is. But they got saved by Seth Lugo, who went four in, four, got four outs to get the save an inning and a third, his first save of the season. It is interesting to note that the Mets did not go with Edwin Diaz in the ninth inning. Instead, leaving Seth Lugo in. Uh, Diaz, of course, blew that save on Saturday with the home run. Overall, he pitched well in his couple of appearances so far, so it's it, it'll be interesting to see how they play the ninth inning moving forward. On the Boston Red Sox side, they handed Josh Oshik a the ball to start off. It was supposed to be a bullpen game today for them. He went two innings, allowing two hits, two runs, which both came on a two-run home run by Michael Conforto in the second inning, which happened to be Conforto's first home run. He wound up getting the loss. They had Jeffrey Springs replace him for an inning at third, but he gave up two home runs, one to Pete Alonso and one to Dominic Smith. The big note from the pitching staff of the Boston Red Sox today was Zach Godley, who went four really strong innings for them. Allowing four hits and striking out seven Mets. There were five home runs in tonight's game. The long ball was the name of the game. As the, the long ball brought home nine of the 11 runs that scored in tonight's game. You had Michael Conforto's home run in the second, which was a two-run home run off the classic. Pete Alonso hit his first home run of the year, a two-run homer in the third off of Jeffrey Springs. And then in the fourth inning, Dominic Smith followed it up with his first home run of the year. A three-run home run off of Springs. On the Red Sox side, I already mentioned the two home runs. Mitch Moreland hit his second home run of the year off of Waka in the fourth. And Xander Bogart hit his first home run in the sixth inning off of Shreve. Both were solo home runs. You know, the, the big thing that really gets to me when it comes to this game is the Mets were up 7 to nothing after the top of the fourth inning. And it wound up being a save situation for Seth Lugo. Like, I, I can't fault the home run, 
Waka gave up. I can't fault the home run that Sharif gave up two runs in the first seven innings and then all of a sudden two more runs in the eighth when the Mets bullpen was supposed to be so much better this year. And we had to use Seth Lugo for four outs when we still don't even know who the pitcher is tomorrow. So this is going to be... It, it's going to really be a question mark with our bullpen this year. I hope that we can step it up, but that hurts when we cannot close the door at the bullpen. Uh, a big note that for the season, with the National League bringing in the DH for every game, the Mets have hit two home runs with the player pl hitting as the designated hitter, the first one being Yoenis Cespedes on opening day. And now Dominic Smith tonight coming from the designated hitter spot, giving Cespedes a night off. Overall, I liked what I saw tonight. I liked what Waka had going. His changeup was out of this world good tonight. And if we can keep getting a few out, outings like this from Michael Waka, and he can stay healthy, this team will go a will go a lot farther along. If we can get even five innings, I can take five innings from a starter from Michael Waka if he pitches the way he pitched and then hand it off to the bullpen. Mets were able to get seven runs on the board using that long ball. So that was huge concern. They weren't really able to get points up onto the board in the first series of the season. We go tomorrow night at 7.35 once again, just like tonight, in Boston at Fenway Park. Mets, once again, have not announced their starter. Luis Rojas said that they will make the decision tomorrow who will be starting. I would like to think that it's going to be David Peterson. It, a huge question mark comes in with Seth Lugo now because Seth Lugo pitched an inning and third today. Will he pitch tomorrow at all? If he's not available, that hurts the bullpen a huge amount because who knows how far whoever starts tomorrow will get. You don't have, you can't really rely on a bullpen game tomorrow, especially considering they don't have a day off for a little while. Matt Hall will be on the mound to start off for the Red Sox in what is expected to be another bullpen game for the Sox. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another brand new recap in addition to another brand new video on the channel which will be a madden 20 franchise video thank you guys for watching see you guys tomorrow